loud noises for me just for five minutes. Five minutes. All right. Ah. All right, guys. So the other day, I said that we had a new shipment coming in, and it was either going to be camera gear or car parts. Uh, 420 of you said that you thought it would be uh, camera gear, and 332 said that it was going to be car parts. For those who guessed camera gear, I guess you're more right, even though this is the new gimbal for the car mount. So it is actually gonna live on the car. So it is kind of camera equipment and car parts at the same time. It is a Freefly Movi Pro. This gimbal can be used for ground cam stuff, car cam stuff, it can swap back and forth. So we are super excited as we build out the 335 camera car uh, to now have a legit gimbal for the front of it so it can handle the speed and the torque and stuff like that. Um, I got this specific Movi off of eBay used and it actually had some upgrades. It has this Ignite Digi uh, expansion pack which converts the Movi batteries to DJI TB50s, a way better battery. Um, we have a bunch of those on the way for another cool toy as well. It came with the Mimic system which actually allows an operator to use the gimbal and worry about just handling the gimbal and I could be here with a monitor basically telling the gimbal what to do. And a really cool feature about this is that I can actually plug in a PS4 controller into the Mimic and wirelessly control the gimbal. So this is how we're going to be doing a lot of the control for the actual gimbal on the car while we're, uh, while we're driving. So we're jacked up about it. I think it's going to be sick. I do also want to show you guys that this quickly removes from the ground cam and we can put it directly onto the car. And this is a full kind of like stabilizing arm. So this works in tandem with the gimbal and gives us a lot of freedom. If you guys have seen a bunch of camera car stuff before, you always see suction cups and large tubing or pipes and stuff like that. I don't really want to do that. I want to do a full chassis mount setup. So we're basically replicating a strut bar of sorts. So I've been making these templates and these templates are going to allow us to use two of the factory strut bolts. And once I make this out of metal, we'll have an awesome starting point to basically uh, add a slanted pipe there, probably a 30 degree bend and meet the other side. And then uh, we'll be able to run this rig on the front of the BMW. We also have a setup for the back, which is going to be super cool. Um, so this can go in the front and the back with full control from the passenger seat of the car. And we also got a bunch of GoPro sleds so we can load this car up. I have one right here. So we can have basically the GoPros on the front and the back showing this entire system what it's doing and also what we're filming. So that's going to be super cool to show you guys kind of how we get the clips or what this looks like and showing you what the clip, the final clip looks like. Now let's jump into the car. I want to show you a quick thing I did to make it easier to do wireless tuning on the go, whether we're switching gas, switching trans maps, all that kind of stuff for different shoots. So I also got this wireless OBD2 reader from coloradoN5x.com. They sell a bunch of awesome products for this platform. But what this does is this allows me to do all my engine and transmission tuning on the go wirelessly. Um, I recently took this car to the drag strip, embarrassed myself, ran at 1230. And the purpose of this car is not to be a super fast competitive drag car, but I definitely want it to have the ability to keep up with anything that we're shooting. I don't wanna not be able to get a clip because the car is not fast enough. So we got this, it's awesome. And for projects like Rocky Mountain Race Week, we're really thinking about bringing this on Rocky Mountain Race Week. So if there's a leg where we know there's only 93, we can just run 93, or if we, actually are racing in the event. We can swap it to an ethanol map, carry a few gallons of ethanol, switch to trans tune, and really get after it. But overall, that's a quick update for the camera car. We're having so much fun building this thing out and we're so excited to be able to bring our automotive filming to the next level and have a platform that we can rely on and have you know, full control of the camera inside the car so we're not risking our life hanging out the back of Ethan's truck or something. During the beginning of next week, we're going to be finalizing all of the mounting points attached to the chassis. And from there, we'll load the car up and do the first test. What do you guys want to see as the first test car? 
Um, I'm sure it's going to be something maybe at the Freedom Factory. We have Mike Massey's drift car, which will be done. Um, so there's a lot of cool cars coming up and a lot of awesome opportunities to use this setup. So we'll catch you on the next one. Woo.